which is a three-year-old boxer that has a tumor that's within the spinal canal. So he presented with uh, back pain and hind limb paresis. We did a CT scan which revealed a large mass within the spinal canal, but it's not a like it, it looks like it's uh, um, adjacent to, but not invading the spinal cord or the vestibular body. So we're gonna do an excision of the mass, and then we are going to possibly do electric chemotherapy to try to clean up the margin. So uh, if you haven't already done so, please, please subscribe and like, and um, turn on notifications. And if you're really keen, um, join our YouTube membership. Switch over to the other one. All right, so here we are at patient size, and I'm going to make a fairly large incision because I have to um, expose L1, 2, and 3. Um, I have to make my incision quite long, so I'm trying to palpate for the ribs back here. So that's probably 213, so that would be L1, 2, 3 there. So I'll make quite a large incision here. So it always scared me, the idea of doing electric chemotherapy next to the spinal cord. Um, but um, there have been a few studies that have been done where they've shown that there's not a lot of negative impact either to the um, peripheral nerves or to the spinal cord associated with doing that electric chemotherapy. And we've got a chance of potentially curing this patient. So the owner recognized that there's some risk associated with doing a procedure we've never done before, um, up to and including permanent and complete dialysis, but um, in a three-year-old dog, the owner can't really afford to do radiation therapy. Um, afterwards, she is willing to take that risk. So, let me know if you guys can hear me and see me. Can I get some yelpies, please? Yep. Huh, it's dropping a lot. Um, I'm just gonna 